Got a few fits. Um, so, yeah, spent a lot of money in there today. That, that stuff wasn't in your closet? I have a few stuff, but I, got, I need some new stuff. Try to go buy some. No, 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 not at all. Hey, no, I did not. It was good? Or it was decent? All right, it was solid. All right, that's fine. Um, I don't know if – I mean, it's definitely different because we're home in front of our fans, uh, crowds on our side. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I love playing home. I make a lot of shots at home, so I, I hope we stay here for a while. We got 10 games here? Seventeen three-pointers, I think. Seventeen to thirty-five as a team. Whereas, I mean, have you ever had this much space before? No. I mean, me, yes, because you know how teams play me. Yeah, yeah. We but as a team, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I have not. Um, I mean, we're, we're knocking down open shots. I don't know why they're not running us off the line yet, um, but we'll c continue to knock them down. Well, they're not running you off the line because they got a double-team joker. Yeah, I mean... Teams are just in a tough spot, I guess. Sometimes when you have a star player like Yogi, who's so good, like you're not standing around waiting for the ball, does it feel even more like everyone's involved in this very little star heavy offense? Yeah. See, with him, we are standing around waiting for the ball. And when we're open, we're, we're going to be open, so we're going to shoot it. Um, so that works for this team. Um, and if they don't go and we're standing there, he's going to score every single time. So they have to do something. I'm going to shoot it. No hesitation. No hesitation. I think about shooting it every time. I Sometimes I don't. Um, I decide not to because I could just get yoke in the pocket. But tonight I'm shooting it. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Who is the best shooter on this team? Do we know yet? Best shooter? It depends. If we're going off the dribble, I would say Jamal. Catch and shoot, I probably would say either Vlaco or KCP or Mike, one of them three. Coach talked about the defensive numbers that you guys made over the last mm -hmm. year. What's changed? Just talking. We're communicating out there. We're all on the string. Um, we're all locking in on our defensive assignments, uh, knowing, people's per I mean, knowing people's tendencies on the offensive end. Um, so that's been great for us. Mm -hmm. AG always preaches uh, all we need to do is talk when our defense was terrible. Um, all he said we, all he said was we need to talk, um, and we've been doing that, so it's been working. Even though we may not understand it, the players ever will, but can you give us an example of one of the situations where that communication really pays off? Uh, low man, um, if you got to be early because if he's if the if the low man is not there, it's a dunk, obviously. Uh, if he's there, we got to notify the X man to take corner and then I come back out. And we were struggling with that at the beginning of the year, especially with Dallas. Malone described Joker as a, as a computer. He's like a computer who just reads the process of the defense. Mm -hmm. Is that a fair description? And how, do you, how would you describe how he kind of deciphers? What For sure. I mean, I don't. The passes he the pass he had to me today on the dunk, I didn't I didn't think it was open at all. Um, good thing I kept my eye on the ball. Um, he just sees stuff before it even happens. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how he sees the game. Um, I wish I could see it like that, but I mean, he's different. And then, can you walk us through uh, how you arrived at the decision uh, to get that mustache? Just wanted to switch it up a little bit, you know. Um, everybody has a beard and a little little stash. Usually, I just cut my beard off and keep the chin in the stash. But this summer, I did mustache when I went to Austin and when I went to uh, Nashville. So I was like, you know what? I'll bring it back. Okay. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the whiskers too. Was the rim tilted? Was it crooked? Was it? Nah, it was. It was tilted a little bit, but I was like, come on, not again. But they fixed it fast this time, so it was great. Yeah, practice. Yeah. In general, have you enjoyed your time? Yes, I have. Uh, I love being in Denver. Uh, I love my teammates. Uh, it's a great locker room. Uh, I got in really close with Bones and Vlaco because they sit right next to me in the locker room. So those are my guys. So yeah, I love being here. Different personalities, um, but I can connect with both of them. Like me and Vlaco have half court shots. Uh, we look at stuff on the phone. We're into, uh, I'm into FIFA, uh, the game. So we talk about that a lot. Uh, and then Bones just, I mean, everybody likes Bones. Good energy, uh, good vibes, funny. Um, so we always crack jokes and, and laugh all the time. Will you go to the stock show? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out a day I can go. Um, I think the last day, what, the 21st maybe? Something like that. Something like that. So I think I'm going to go to the last day. Are you good? 
Yeah, I'm nice. Uh, my ultimate team is actually really good. Um, I got Mbappe up top. I got Salah on the wing. I got Neymar on the left wing. Um, so if you want, I got Virgil in the back. You want? I can tell you my whole team. So if you want, we can we can set it up. We can set it up. Mm-hmm. Thank <laughs> you.